It's time inspector time. If I can wheel this chair off, if I could, <laughs> I'd just say so myself. Welcome to Final Ghost Network and Freedom Talk Radio. And guess what? Look what Obama just dragged in. Talk about climate change. You know what? I will blast friends Obama in the face for our naughty or nice Christmas comments. And I got a gift, and I'll do that myself. And don't forget two quick announcements for celebration, and of course, the one and only OSC. And find out right now and why, because it does. I'm at home. Trust me, I'll have day three of you know who. That's right. Final closing time better video country thoughts. And don't forget tomorrow, no newspapers for Thursday. Well, guess what? Guess what? Have two night nicer ones for tomorrow. So you better be ready. Be on your toes. So you just have to trust me about that. <laughs> I'll say nice comments. For you know who, Omaha Symphonic Chorus, and so is the Omaha Symphony Chamber and Orchestra, and so is, <laughs> so, so is, uh, you, yeah, you guessed it, I have no clue, whatsoever, I'll, I'll explain to that. Anyways, let's get this show on the road, shall we, for our final closing time, better video, video conference thoughts for December 2nd, 2nd year 2015, so Matthew West, if you good, you good. I get you something for Christmas, just without that. So, while, while you do that, and let's do something amazing, if you don't mind. Sing if you don't mind! <laughs> LH Music is here. And the real consumer truth that lives right here inside your video set. This is the final of the Time Factor video concrete. Thoughts Time Factor. Oh my goodness. Get ready for our final of the Time Factor video concrete thoughts. And before we blast, uh, before I got a blast, press the bomb in the face. Here's some of you all, something you ought to know by now. I, you know what I'm talking about. Hillary Clinton. This is what happens. Yesterday, I blasted Hillary Clinton in the face. Now she wouldn't even do it. She wouldn't even know about this one. Possibility leaks instead of probe that Clinton email reviews a process. Listen to this. Two top GOP senators had written to, yeah, uh huh. See, I told you about John Curry and tell and the talented director James Clapper about possibility leaks for their departments of the review of Hillary Clinton's emails. Aha! Uh -huh. See, I told you, you just did it again. Like I said yesterday, you get nothing for Christmas. You're so naughty, haven't you, Hillary Clinton? You are so darn naughty. You pff, buffoon. <laughs> I know. Uh, to break this to you, Hillary, I will blast you in the face. You're not president of the United States. You might think you're so smart, do you? Oh, this was like, how could you always say? Blah, sorry, the hell are they? How could you? Um, um, because I said something first, but... And now, I will blast President Obama in the face as well for our naughty or nice Christmas comments, if you know what I mean. So, get ready, President Obama. You're next, and you're going down the tubes, because you're so delusional. Okay? T-S-O. Kick it. And now, final closing time for our video conference thoughts for our weekly fans. Not your nice Christmas comments. Oh, you might think it's so smart about President Obama's climate change in Paris. I don't believe you know this. Notice that President Obama, huh, some kind of a creature of habit. Because this is going to be worse. But he doesn't talk about Obamacare. He talks, talks about this Paris attacks. Or should we say ISIS? Now, we get inside you know who. That's right. Climate change. Oh, with the partners. We're in, having, some, having some fun. Drinking ice cube water out of ice cubes and solar panels or whatever you, 
You're, you're insane. You're insane. What kind of creature in heaven is this? You are insane. Carly Fiorina is right. I told Carly Fiorina. She, she, she is on my nice list. She, she's going to get something for Christmas. When Santa Claus comes down to your chimney, chimney is so far we get certain. Strike one for Hillary Clinton. Naughty. Now strike two for you, President Obama. When is the last time you always say? Say that I always say that you live in a world of. <laughs> you know, President Obama, you are so delusional. Delusional. And you always talk about climate change. You always say that, do you? And Obamacare. Oh, this is going to be worse. Worse. So, according to this, Fox News. Top military, military officer co contradicts you, saying that ISIS, say that you said that ISIS is not contained. You stupid idiot. ISIS contains this, and I'm very mad at you, because like I said a couple weeks ago on my final closing time factor video counter thoughts, I'm done with you. Chris Alfano is right. I'm done with you. And I will blast you in the face again on this weekend's Time Factor video, Time Factor, Time Factor television show, and so it's Time Factor Files on Fox News. And see how you see, you would see it will wake the hell up and pour water in your face. Face. I want you to listen to this. According to la yesterday's Fox News head. Fox News, you know who America's Newsroom, and um, Bill Hemmer, explain this to you. Listen to this. Testified before a House Committee on the U.S. side against ISIS Secretary Carter, saying only moments ago the U.S. will step up its involvement in the war, specifically in Iraq and Syria. No, I want, I want you to listen to this. Secretary, Secretary, Secretary of State Ash Carter. Trying to specialize the U.S. forces? Oh, uh, really, huh? I want you to listen to this. <laughs> this will suit you, Brett Obama, but I do something stupid. Listen to this. Full coordination of the government of Iraq when deploying a specialized expeditionary targeting force to assist Iraqi and Kurdish secondary forces to put more even more pressure on ISIL. These special operators will over time be able to conduct raids free hostages, gather intelligence, and capture ISIL leaders. That has ISIL leaders. This is gonna be worse. This is the ISIL leaders. Leaders of this world. And the answer is by it's made my you know who created a stupid orchestrated of catastrophe. You. You said that last month on ABC News. Yes, ABC News the liberal was interviewed asking what uh, asking oh you know who about yeah the anti ISIS campaign and you say I don't think we're they're gaining strength. What is true is that from the start from well, our goal has been contained and we have been contained them uh, uh. you said they gain ground in Iraq and Syria, they, they'll come in, they'll leave, but you don't, <laughs> you stupid, you are so idiot, you so ignominious, the remarks about you, about the day before, November 13th, yet yeah, last month, by the Paris attacks, terror attacks, and which carried by ISIS, ISIS, and after the hearing, the events, yeah, Defense Secretary Ash Carter has been announced this all along, all along the way. So, you created a monster. You created a monster, haven't you? Why did you create a huge monster out of anyone else? You are so pathetic.
pathetic. Like I said, I'm done with you. Like I said, I'm done. I am done with you, because you're inside my naughty list. You cannot get nothing for Christmas. And what it leaves, leaves out to? Yes. Just try to blame us conservatives on purpose. Blaming me. Me, so I, Sean Hattie and, and the, the rest of conservative radio talk show hosts and Fox News and all that. Guess what? I don't even think so. The blame is on you. The blame is on you. Get it? The blame is on you. Yeah, you. You're the one who blames it. You're the one who's causing it. A huge catastrophe, an act of war. Now get it. Get this through your darn head. And wake the hell up. And do something. President Obama. Do something. I don't want your own climate change out of it. If you don't do something, guess what? Guess what? We, us conservative, can trash you on purpose. And they, and we do that, you can tell the whole world, haven't you? Naughty for you. No, no Christmas gift for you. You get a lump of coal for Christmas. My bitch, and please get the hell out of the Oval Office with your wife and others. You're so naughty. Oh, it feels like why in the heavens the Lord did you put President Obama inside your naughty list because you, because I said something myself said so in the first place. And it bet it will. So So there. So we can do about it. So there. Hope you learn your lesson. President Obama. And why? Because it has people or what have you. Because you are an imbecile. And the moral story is no more guess for you. That's all I can say. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Period. This is the final closing time factor of video called Great Thoughts. Not your nice Christmas comments. Now, <sighs> quickly, two quick announcements. Because tomorrow, because tomorrow I will say something very nice about this one. Because <laughs> it's, it's better be good. It's gonna be 20th, 20th annual Christmas at the cathedral. It's at St. Cecilia's, and it's gonna be a huge. It's, it's, it's gonna be a pack house. And San Francisco is at 40th and Webster. And it's gonna be wonderful for holiday tradition. But now on, trust me about that. Because <laughs> I'll be singing with Greg and Collins, the last one on earth to do this. So this is the last one. And, and I'm being surprised <laughs> about this one. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. And so is OSC. Yeah, that stands for Omaha Step on the Cards. And don't forget, Marie Ruiz Bauer. So we here, and so is the Omaha Stephanie Chamber Orchestra. Orchestra. So we here, and so is, so we, so we have two guests. One is UNO's Moving Company. Well, wow. they do two songs. Stars and Gal Gaite and Whew. you'll love it. Talk about that. And of course, the, 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 the Nebraska Wesleyan Wesleyan Choir. And um, it's gonna be fun. Yes, it's gonna be fun. Fun for the whole family. Family, family with what shall we give? And so is, so is the world premiere that we just sang 
and I, I, I think I've been there 13 years ago. This is my 14th year doing John Ryder's Gloria. It's gonna be good. Right here, it's, it's gonna be good. Uh, it's all good. It's gonna be right here uh, at uh, St. Cecilia. And it's good. Trust me about that. Quickly, um, I will say this quickly. Starts uh, this Friday at 8. Yeah, that's right. December 4th. And so it's December 6th. That's right, December 6th at St. Cecilia's at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. It's going to be fun. Trust me about that. And, um, speaking of fun, I'm not, it's, here, here's my purpose. I'm not going to sing at St. Cecilia's on December 6th. Because I'll, I'll be singing with my, my friends Allie, Jan, John, Sandra, and the rest of Celebration Life Choir with joy, unspeakable joy. And I'll sing something very nice on um, on next Thursday's uh, final couple things I have right video commentary thoughts as our is the, is the final one of our naughty naughty or nice Christmas comments. It's gonna be good. Go joy, unspeakable joy. Because I'll be at uh this weekend this weekend for uh, Christ Community Church of Christ or the Community of Christ Church in uh, right here. I uh, can't counsel about Iowa, so is Twin Cities Christian Church. Church and Risen Sun Christian Village and Council Bluffs, Iowa. It's going to be good. So, I'll give you quick announcements again tomorrow after I said something very nice for OSC. That's all, that's all I can say. So, trust me about that. Anyways, that's all. Don't forget to Facebook and follow LHMusic, Facebook.com, and Twitter.com. You know my username, LH Music Sign. And so is my Time Factor website, which I'll be up doing my half of it. Time Factor website, if you know what I mean. At lhmusictimefactor.jimdo.com, so is Time Factor page on Facebook as well, at facebook.com slash the only LH Music Time Factor. And don't forget to listen to Fox News Headlines 24-7, right here, on Sirius XM's channel 115. It's going to be good. Anyways, I gotta go, and I'm signing off on Thursday. Yes, I'll say something very nice. For OSC. No more newspapers. Do this. The PRK way to secure the next Thursday. LH Music Books sign up with God's blessings, and I salute you, America. Take care. Bye, my friend. Bye, my friend. Now, see ya. <laughs> I might do this.